Hey dolls! I know you guys loved seeing, this was like forever ago that I filmed this, but I filmed a video on my Instax Mini 8. This is my little Polaroid style camera. Um, I decorated it all up with cute little My Melody stickers and stuff, but you guys remember quite a long time ago, I did a video on this bad boy right here, and I had told you guys, I think I told you guys in that video, I don't remember 100% for sure. There is also an Instax printer that is like a wireless printer, and you can connect it to your phone and print out any photo on your camera roll onto the Instax Polaroid film. I wanted the printer so bad, but it was more expensive than the camera itself. The camera I ended up paying like 60 or $70 for on Amazon, and at the time the printer was around $200 or something like that. I found a refurbished one, and I know, I'm taking a risk here buying something refurbished, but I found a refurbished one on eBay for only $100, and that is literally like half the price of a brand new one. And the seller claims that everything works very, very well, and we have no issues with it or anything like that, and it did just come in the mail today. So I'm gonna open it up and do kind of a versus video, which you guys can already tell by the title, the Instax Mini 8 camera versus the Instax Wi-Fi smartphone printer thing. We are opening this on up and here it is right here. This is the original box. You can see that it has been opened obviously because they had said that it is refurbished um, or it's, it's not refurbished, it's used. So they said that nothing should be wrong with it though. It does have a 30 day warranty. So hopefully if it acts up, it acts up within the 30 days of me having it. And this came with just the printer itself. It didn't come with any film or anything. I do have the film that I got separately. I usually get my film off of eBay or Amazon. So here it is, right in here. Here it is. Here's what the, pr the printer looks like compared to the camera itself. It's about the same size and I would say that the printer is a little bit more heavy than the camera. And let's see what batteries it takes. And I'm assuming it didn't come with batteries. It did not come with batteries. Um, what batteries are these? You guys, I don't even know what batteries these are. They're CR2 batteries. I was under the impression this took double A's. So I don't have batteries for this right now. I guess I'll come back when I have the batteries and everything. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll check in with you guys another day. <laughs> okay, so as you can tell, it is a new day. I got my same wig and my little pom-poms going on, but I managed to get to the store and I got, let me show them to you so you can see what they look like now. So they look like this. They're about half the size of a double A and maybe a little bit thicker around. I could not find rechargeable ones, so I got just the basic ones. They were about $10 for two batteries. The Instax Mini camera takes two double A's, not two CR2 batteries. So that is one thing that the camera has over the printer that I think is better as far as comparing the two. So I have had experience printing some photos off and I wanted to make sure I got in that full little experience before demonstrating it for you guys. The film installment is the exact same as the camera, but there is a little yellow line on the back of the printer inside this little door. And then there is also a little yellow line on the film cartridge and you just line the two up and pop it in. It's really that simple. So in order to get the printer to work, there is an app, an Instax app. It's called Instax Share and it is on the App Store. And it looks just like this. I'm showing it to you on the screen here. So what you wanna do is turn on the printer. There is a on button right here. And you do wanna sit it on a flat surface like so. So I will go ahead and turn it on and I'm just gonna hold it as flat as I can. 
so you guys will see there are little lights right here and it tells you how many photos you have left you have 10 photos in each film cartridge so once you've printed off 10 photos you have to get a new film cartridge and put in there so I have three prints left and it also tells you your battery level which is really cool as well so before I go into the app after the printer is turned on you want to go into your Wi-Fi settings and Instax should pop up under your Wi-Fi. So you wanna to connect to that. So opening this app on up, I'm gonna click select from my photos and I'm gonna pick a picture. I printed this one off for my boyfriend and I really, really liked it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and print it off for myself. So I just wanna readjust it there and then I wanna go into edit. And I'm going to apply this intelligence filter, which kind of deepens it up, gives it a better, kind of more vintagey look sometimes. Okay, so now that I have it all figured out, I'm just going to click connect and print. And it should be printing. Sometimes this printer asks for a little password and you can like set your own password for it. Or you can have it not have a password, whatever you want. So then the film pops out just like so. And then you'll hear the motor in it kind of like buzzing a little bit wait until the motor stops buzzing before you turn the printer off the motor buzz kind of stopped so i'm gonna go ahead and turn this off and then all the lights will shut off so you know it is turned off okay and then the picture will start developing and it will i'm, I'm gonna say it will be fully developed within probably three minutes max. Sometimes it gets a little bit darker before it reaches five minutes. I also mentioned this in my video all about the Instax camera, but I figured that I would go ahead and put it in here as well, just in case you guys have already seen that video and maybe you forgot. But this is how I do store them. I got just a basic binder and I got these trading card holders, the little trading card protector pages from Walmart in a set of like 50 or so for, you know, just some dollars. And I go ahead and just store them all in here. I'm not going to go through and show you all of my pictures, but you can see that that is how I store them. They are about the size of a business card, so they do fit perfectly in binders like this. I just put this little magnetic board together. It's a basic white magnetic board that can adhere to the wall. And I got it at Walmart a couple years ago and I got the G3 and G4 My Little Pony magnets. I got some of them off eBay and another the G4 set came with a coloring book but I went ahead and put some My Melody uh, memo sheets on it and then I just used the magnetics to magnetize my Instax photos and the little pastel frames that you see around them, those are actually just little stickers that you can get in a lot of different colors and styles and stuff off of eBay. So that is not the actual film itself, they're just little stickers that you can stick on them and you can get them in packs of literally a hundred for only about two to three dollars, which is very, very cool and super inexpensive. So. Yeah, there's a little idea of what you guys can do with your pictures. Now, as far as comparison, which do I prefer over the other? For aesthetic reasons, I obviously prefer the camera because it's pink, it's cute, it looks adorable in its own pictures, it's fun to carry, it matches my outfits when I go out. If I wanna carry this with me, if I'm on vacation, I can put a little strap around it and wear it around my neck and it'll match my cute pink outfits that I wear. But as far as usability and just consistency. I feel like the Instax printer is maybe the better route for you guys to go if you are kind of tight on budget and the film in itself is a little expensive to you. I would say definitely go with the printer instead of the camera. The printer is more expensive than the camera. However, you actually end up saving a lot of money on film because when you're taking a picture with just this camera, sometimes I find that I'm wasting a lot of film because I have it accidentally set to the wrong setting with the dial on the different lighting setting and it's on the wrong one and it just there's too much exposure or it's too dark and I just feel like I wasted a piece of film. And this film is like a dollar a picture almost, you know, give or take, depending on where you buy it, of course. And you can only like take that exact photo one time and you only have that one copy of that exact photo 
Whereas with this one, you can make multiple copies, multiple photos. You can give them out as party favors at a wedding or, you know, whatever. You can be completely and totally creative with this. The sky is the limit with the creativeness that you can have with this thing. It's it's amazing. I absolutely love this. And again, like I said, I printed off this exact picture for my boyfriend and I gave it to him so he could put it in his truck. I just printed off one for myself and I can keep this on my little memory board. And it's the exact same picture so we can kind of be matching and stuff. I just really enjoy the printer a little more because my friends can connect to it from their phone and, and they can print their pictures off or you know just different things like that they don't have to just take the photo right then and there and that was another reason that I decided to go ahead and get this if I ever do go out on vacation I'm planning on taking my phone my camera that I'm recording on right now because I take I take it with me when I go places to take photos just in itself and then I was gonna take my Instax camera because I wanted to put together a little Instax photo album well, that's a lot to carry, to be quite honest. If I'm going to Disneyland or if I'm going to walk around a lot, I don't want to be carrying around so many things and then try to switch back and forth between all of these. So instead of using this and taking it with me, I can just take my regular camera or even just my phone and take all the pictures I want. I can come home and then print them off. And another thing is when you're taking photos and stuff on your phone, you're not gonna have to stop in the middle of it. Whereas with the Instax camera, you're gonna have to stop and change your film every 10 photos. You can kind of take as many photos as you want with your phone or your digital camera and then maybe filter through them later and only pick your favorites to print out so you know that you're not gonna be wasting film. So, in total, I would choose the printer over the camera if you are someone who is tight on budget and maybe travels a lot and you don't want to carry the camera with you all over the place and you want to have multiple copies of each picture. Now if you're someone like me who wants the vintage feel of only having one hard copy of that photo, the camera is awesome and for photography aesthetic reasons it is adorable to take photos of, to take photos with. It's really, really cute. I love the concept of it. And they also do make clear cases and stuff for the printer as well as the camera. So if you're scared that one of them's gonna get scratched or banged up when you're traveling or it's in your suitcase or it's in a drawer or something, you can buy clear cases for both of these to prevent them from getting all scratched up and beat up, which I think is really awesome as well. So overall, the decision is up to you if you wanna get the printer, if you wanna get the camera, or if you wanna get neither, or if you wanna get both. I got both. I I love both and I love the concept of each individual one. I will still continue to use my camera. I'm not going to get rid of it. I'm not going to sell it. I love this thing so much. It's adorable and it's so pink and just me. They also have different colors of this. They have Sanrio, uh, Hello Kitty one of this, the Little Twin Stars edition. They have all different kinds of these Instax mini cameras nowadays. There's a lot of different options to choose from. Whereas the printer, you're a little bit more limited when it comes to customizing the look of the printer itself. I mean, I'm probably gonna end up decking this thing out with stickers anyway, but that's just me. <laughs> so with that being said, I will go ahead and let you guys go. I do hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know which of these you guys would choose in the comment section below. Do you have the Instax mini camera? What color do you have? How long have you had it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Tell me everything. Just share your opinions below. Until my next video, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. All right, bye.